There it is. There it is. Woodland Explorer map. 26 emeralds and a compass. Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on you guys? My name is CPK and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today you join me for some more Harmony Hollow and we are back at the Cartographer's Village. I've been working long and hard to uh, find the correct amount of sugarcane that I need. Also, I'm an idiot. Didn't bring a coffin with me, which is a rare mistake that I make because I usually know that I'm gonna need a coffin and this time I've forgotten. Oh, I've still got the truck of luck thing. I need to go put that back. Oops. But yeah, I've forgotten to bring a coffin so I can't sleep anywhere. And if I burn, I will die because I'm on half a heart. So I need to get back into this house to see the cartographer. I think he wanted 43 paper. I've now got 49. I did a bit of work off camera. Let's see if there's any way for me to build myself like a little shelter. Does that keep me safe? Oh, it does. Okay, great. Brilliant. That worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. No, no, no. I don't want to burn. Don't want to burn. Don't want to burn. Right. So I'm going to break a piece of this glass, which is not enough for them to get out. If he would move a tiny bit, it'd be just enough for me to click him, but he's not going to move. So we've got to break this piece here as well. Also, we can click the cartographer. There we go. It was 35 pieces of paper for an emerald. Okay. Great trading with you, pal. Now, does he have a second tier trade yet? He does not. He still wants more paper, which I do not have. So we need to get another 35 paper to appease him. I think we've got to do it until he's sold out of paper. So we just need a ton of paper. But what I'm going to do to make this easier for myself, bring the cartographer with me. He belongs to me now. You are my cartographer. And you shall only go where I say you can go. And now I'm going to burn to death because it's the fastest way home. Did not like the sun. That is relatable even in real life. So we're going to take this cartographer home and we are going to uh, make him a little fenced area to pop him in, keep him to ourselves, And uh, that way we can hopefully try and get ourselves a woodland mansion map because that is what I want, honestly. I really want a woodland mansion map. Okay, we're back to the safety of our own home. No more burning out here, thank you. And now I'm gonna get my coffin back. I must have left it somewhere. It's not like me to not carry one. What have I done with it? I'm actually really confused as to what's happened here. I definitely had it on me. Like, look, I, I mean, I've been on the server for quite a while, sorting stuff out. Did I accidentally put it in, like, a chest? You know, for now, I'll just take this one. It doesn't matter where it is. Right, I need some wood. Wait, do I have anything in this shulker box? I don't. Oh, I can even start using the shulker box. I like shulkers. Aha, 64 wooden planks. Perfect. So I'm going to come over here, move these pieces of sugar cane that I've left. Okay, now we've got our fences and we are just going to literally, where can we block him in? Probably do here, won't it? I'll give him a little bit of walking room. I'm not a complete savage. Like I still want him to live just in my house. And he goes where I tell him he can go. Okay, good. We got him here now. That's nice. He's nice and safe. Put this lasso away. Probably store pretty much everything I got here. Now it's all about finding more paper. I did plant some of my sugar cane, but it wasn't that long ago. I doubt it's... Oh, it's this way, isn't it? I doubt it's even started to grow yet. I'd be very surprised. It was literally maybe 10 minutes ago tops. So no, that has not started to grow yet. Okay, let's head back to spawn just to drop off the truck of luck book because I feel bad because I still have it. Ah, here's the truck of luck. Okay, so let's uh, pop this back there. Good. Hmm. Now we need to find places that might have sugarcane for us to steal. I'll go check out Jack's house or Jack's old house first, then move to his new house if his old house doesn't have any. But hopefully there's some sugarcane around growing literally anywhere. Aha! I see quite a bit of sugarcane, actually. We might get quite a nice little amount here. I won't knock it all down because, like I said, it's not mine to knock down. So it'll still grow back so no one can be too mad at me. It's not stealing, it's borrowing. I'm just not going to give it back, but it will still grow. So it's technical borrowing. I'm just going to tend to Jack's crops for him really quickly because obviously Jack's on holiday anyway, so relax, Augustus. Don't need to be any problems here, mate. You're a good lad. Hey! Hey! You simmer yourself down. What do you think you're doing? Oh, God, he's gassed. I forgot about that. Jesus. What a scary noise that is to hear all the time. I don't like the ghast anymore. I feel like I made a mistake bringing him here. So I think what we'll do is we will plant a few more bits as well around the edge. There we go. Perfect. Right. Now let's go inside, make ourselves some more paper. Hopefully we get enough to trade him again. I think this is how it works. You just keep trading him over and over and over again. And uh, eventually he gives you what you want, I think. Pretty sure that's how it works. I'm also pretty sure I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. Okay, 36 more paper. Is that enough for you, bud? How much did you need? 35. Look at that. Perfect. Give me that. Oh, see, now we've got a tier two trade. So he wants a compass now. So we're going to make ourselves a compass, which is iron and redstone. My God, we definitely got that. I say that. Do we have the iron? We definitely do. Here we go. Right, crafting table again, please. Iron around the outside and a compass. 
Done, sir. I would like to trade with you my compass. Come here. There you go. Isn't that a wonderful trade? Aren't you super happy with me now? I bet you are. Okay, so I don't know how this works. I don't know if we need to leave and like come back or something to make him get another trade. Because clearly I didn't need to trade in that paper again, did I? Oh, no, there we go. <gasps> Wait, eight emeralds for an empty map. I don't think that's right. I don't even have enough emeralds. This is awkward. I mean, he'll still let me trade him though, right? So like, I could just trade him a couple more compasses if he'll let me do that. Because eventually they say no more. Like they'll stop you from trading with them. Okay, I'm going to try and make him another two. Hopefully he lets us trade him another two. He might not. He could stop after that one. Oh no, he's letting us do another one. Oh, he'll let us do another one. All right, nice. Perfect. That means we're going to have enough to get the empty map. But again, I don't think the empty map is what we need. I think it comes after that. So let's go across. Trade in this again. Thank you. Now we're going to give him eight for an empty map and wait and see what happens here. Because now we have a normal map, as you can see. So the empty map becomes an actual map, which is useful, but it's not what we're after. We're after the Woodland Explorer maps. Oh, some experience there. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. Woodland Explorer map. 26 emeralds and a compass. Oh, God. Where on earth am I going to get 26 emeralds from? Jesus. Getting 26 emeralds is going to be difficult, man. Like, I could just do a bunch of, like, villager trades. That's going to take me absolutely ages, though, right, to do that? Like, 26 individual villager trades is going to take me so long. Like, I mean, as it stands, he'll still accept compasses. So, I mean, let's see how many of those we can make. Three more compasses. I don't think he'll take all three off me now, though. Oh, he did? Okay. Oh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, so he's maxed out on that now. So now he'll give me some more paper. So I'm 23 away now. 23. My goodness. This is going to be one heck of a ride. I think what I'm going to do is, again, go visit Jack's house. See if Jack has any emeralds lying around. If he does, borrow them, but then I'll reward him with something from the Woodland Mansion after I've been. Maybe a totem up and dying. Oh. Hold on, did I see a bunch of sugarcane again? I did. Ah. Let's take the sugarcane too. At least then we can get another trade out of him with the paper. At least another one trade out of him. Hopefully we can get a few more. I think he'll trade things five times from what it looks like. Where's the ghast gone? What? I'm so confused. Where's the ghast? Has Jack moved him? I thought he was like right here. Oh, he's around the back. Here he is, of course. How silly of me. Right, let's just go in the safe way then. Don't want any trouble. What has Jack done here? How has he parked a car in the wall? He is such a renegade. All right, here's his storage stuff. Okay. Oh, he's got three. We'll borrow those. I'll give him some stuff back. Don't you worry. I mean, what are the chances we find emerald in caves? It's a pretty small chance, right? I mean, this is a pretty significant cave, though. Holy moly. We could maybe get lucky down here. Hey, isn't this where I found diamonds that time? There's a mine shaft in here. Okay, I don't remember some of this. There's some gold. Is there any emerald anywhere? I'm looking very specifically for emerald. This is the most ridiculous cave system ever. Oh my goodness, this is so dangerous. Yep, that's why. Well, that didn't go well. Why is there no one just selling emeralds to me? Like, just sell me the emeralds. How about that? That'd be good for me. Maybe not so much for you, but it'd be great for me. It'd help me out right now. It means that I could actually continue with my episode. I might actually have to trade villagers for this. Like, I might have to make 20 individual villager sales. Jesus. This may take some time. All right, 19 left to go. <laughs> He will take another 35, though. That's good. And there's some other villagers that, like, sort of hang around nearby. I feel like I just see random villagers, like, all the time. You know what? I'm going to fly all the way back to where I found the cartography villager. Hopefully, some of the other villagers there will want to trade. And it'll be things like crops, because there are crops growing nearby there. Maybe we can fast track some like that. Right, let's see what they want. What about you, bud? What do you want? You just want wheat. Okay, so wheat and, like, anything from a farm. That's great, because look at this. We got a farm over here with a whole bunch of unready crop. Come on now. Nope, didn't bring any bones. Oh, the map just gets made of the place that you're in. Okay, that was a waste of time as well then. Oh, these things over here look a little bit more grown. Are they? 71%. Oh, okay. Some of these are getting close. Okay, here we go. Look, we're getting some wheat from over here. Hey, I don't want any beef. What the hell? Hey, I didn't want any trouble. Why are you going to make me out to be the bad guy? Stay away from me. That's right. Keep giving me human hearts. That's two for two. Can we make it three for three? Come on, Hunter. Do something. No, we can't make it three for three. That's sad. Okay, what do you want to trade? String or coal? Okay. There's another cartographer? He only wants 25 paper? Oh, no. I should have brought my lasso. Whoa, what is happening here? Is there some sort of official meeting going on? He doesn't want loads of meat. String. Hello. Good God. There's so many opportunities here if we had a bunch of farm stuff. But sadly, we don't. Don't have anything useful in my bag of holding, do I? I have some starts of some string. Not enough to uh, appease them, though. Okay, I'll come down here for a little mine. So things will load while I'm in the chunk. So, like, the crops will uh, grow whilst I'm in the chunk. So as long as I'm doing stuff around this area, everything should still be fine. And we should eventually get the things we need. We'll have a look around because there's that guy who would accept coal, right? Like, if I can find a nice juicy vein of coal, I can at least get another one emerald. Okay, here we go. Oh, it goes further down. And then there's villagers in here. What are you doing in here, sir? 
Shouldn't be in here. Oh, lots of coal though. This is good. Oh, this is literally another bit of the village. Oh, it just goes around the side instead. Ah, I've done a full circle. What is this? This looks like it's all been placed. Oh, it's the well. Oops. What happens if I eat a human heart? Oh, it regens my heart. Oh, no, there's a villager here. Vampire villager. Oh, man, he looks cool. Hold on, though. I should kill him so he doesn't taint the rest. I don't entertain the rest of them. I'm sorry. I know you didn't do anything wrong. I don't know how it works, but I also don't want to risk him being able to go up there and turn them all to vampires. That would make me really sad. Oh, Jesus Christ. I just actually got jump scared by the game. Oh, oh my God. I just got blown up. And that was genuinely the most terrified I have ever been. Oh my God. My heart is in my mouth. Okay, guys, so I think I'm going to leave the episode here. We have the cartographer now. We know what he needs. I'm going to work on getting the stuff off camera. And then next episode, hopefully, we will go to a woodland mansion. I know I'm excited about that. If you are, leave some love. Let's leave a like. Let me know if you know anyone who has some emeralds for trade, because I'm down to trade. I got trades if you want trades, bro. I have been CPK. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.